Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about the development of interatrial septum. So this is a developing heart and if you take an oblique section to the chambers here, this is how it is seen. So here is the right atrium, this is the left atrium, right and the left ventricles. So this is a sinoatrial orifice and here we have the septum intermedium and these are the right and the left endocardial cushions. During the sixth week of intraatrial life, the internal separation of atrium begins. A sickle-shaped septum arises from the roof and dorsal wall of the primitive atrium. It starts to grow towards septum intermediate. The caudal edge is free and concave and the gap between septum primum and intermediate is known as foramen primum. Septum primum grows progressively and fused with the septum intermediate. During the seventh week of intrauterine life, apoptosis of cephalic part of septum primum leads to the formation of another opening known as foramen secundum. This allows the communication of blood between right and left atrium to transfer oxygenated blood from inferior vena cava to the left atrium. During the later part of seventh week of intrauterine life, another septum called septum secundum grows from the right side of septum primum from the roof of right atrium. The caudal edge is free and sickle shaped. It grows and covers the foramen secundum present in septum primum. And this leads to the formation of a valvular foramen called foramen ovate. It remains patent for the rest of fetal life and sheds blood from right to the left atrium. Now let's look at the development in another view. So if you take a section through the right atrium and right ventricle, this is how it is seen. So above we have right atrium and below we have the right ventricle. And these are the anterior and posterior endocardial cushions. So this is a septum primum growing towards septum intermedium and this is foramen primum. The cephalic part of septum primum undergoes apoptosis and forms foramen second. So now the septum secundum grows towards septum intermedium and overlaps foramen secundum. And the valvular passage thus formed is known as foramen ovale, which allows the blood to flow from right atrium to left atrium. After birth, more blood reaches the left atrium and increases the left atrial pressure and closes the foramen ovale both functionally and structurally. So this is about the development of interatrial septum and see you in the next video.